I had the faith that I need to make it. All right, now I had to continue to hear. Yes. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So I have to be in a consistent, diligent study of God's word because the more I know about God, the more I know about his ability to help me. Did y'all hear Rahab this morning? Rahab said, we have heard about your God. That's what Rahab said. And because of what she heard, mm -hmm. she said, I want you to save my house. Mm -hmm. Is what you heard going to save your house? Well, mm -hmm. Hello? Right. Mm -hmm. Is what you heard. Mm -hmm. How often are you hearing? Mm -hmm. Because that's how often faith will, will come to you. Yeah. Faith comes by hearing. Mm -hmm. And so the more often you hear, the more faith will come. Yeah. Yeah. Many times we have beautiful brothers and sisters stand up and say, I need more faith, I need more faith. How often are you hearing? How often are you hearing? You can't come get you a little, a little text on Sunday and a little peace on Wednesday and then think that that's what's going to sustain you. What you doing Monday and Tuesday? What's your agenda Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? You follow me? How would you fare physically if you ate twice a week? Yeah. How would you fare? You won't feel too good with the brush ups. Sugar and hair thing will get out of whack. Well, what you think happened to you spiritually? That's what's happening to you spiritually. When you don't have a daily diet of God's word, you become weaker and weaker. There's only so much I can give you. There's only so much I can give you in a sermon. You follow me? And so you got to get it beyond the sermon. I'm trying to give you tools that make you want to study. When I mention these things, I want you to go back and I want to see, I want to hear more of that. Not hear audibly, but go hear it from the word. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. That's the only way you're going to get the faith you need to make. So if you're here tonight and you realize that your faith is weak, then ask for strength. Ask for prayer to be more diligent in study. And you know, faith without works is deep. Yeah. That's a whole nother lesson. Yeah. So don't come down here and ask for prayer. And then throw your Bible on the shelf tonight. Right. You're going to mess around and cancel that out of prayer. Look at the word tonight when you get home. Look back over these stories. Yeah. Look back over these chapters that we have discussed. So you'll know it for yourself. That's, right. yes. That's where our joy comes from. That's right. The joy doesn't come from me informing you of something that you don't know. The joy comes from me validating what you already know because you have studied it. Mm -hmm. And then when Brother Preacher get up here and start elaborating on it and showing you what you already know and validating it, Oh, that's where the joy comes from. Yes, that's, that, that's what puts shouting in your bones. Yes, yeah. That's what put waving in your hands. Yes, right. Tapping in your feet. Right. Tapping in your hands. Yes, Not because I'm informing you of something new. Ain't nothing new. It's true. Man. It ain't new. Because it's true. Man. You just need to get in there and get it. Yes. So ask for prayer. Ask for whatever you need to help yourself. Because it's never going to get better. If you're not operating with it by faith, yes, sir. it was by faith. All of these men and women were able to do what they did. Yes, right. It was by faith yes. that they accomplished their goals. Some of them never got the reward on this earth. Yes, but they moved mm -hmm. like they already had. Yes. Yes, sir. Can you do that? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to ask God to help you gain the strength to be able to do that? We bid you that you will tonight. And if you're here tonight and you're not a member of the body of Christ, you also have to operate by faith. Mm -hmm. Because the first step in salvation, once you've heard, is to believe what you heard, John 8, 24. Right. Then that belief causes you to change. You must repent of your sins, Luke 13, 3. Then you must confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Romans 10, 9, and 10, and then be baptized in water yes, for the remission of your sins. See, baptism is an act of faith because you don't see no blood in that water. 
No blood in the water, it's just water. <clears throat> just water. H2 to the O, just water. That's all it is, just water. But there's blood and I can't see nobody like that. You're, you're, you're operating by faith. Yes, right. yes. God said the blood is in the water. Yeah. Yeah. And God said the blood will cleanse you from all of your sins. Yeah. In John chapter 19, when they came to the one thief, they broke his leg. When they came to the other one, they broke his leg. But when they came to Jesus and saw he was dead already, he took a spear, pierced him in his side. Out of his side came blood and water. Yes. Blood and water. Yeah. I don't see none, but it's in there. Yeah. God says it's in there. Baptism mm -hmm. is an act of faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That faith causes you to obey God so that you can get the results that you're looking for from God. Do you want it tonight? Do you want to be better in your walk in life? Do you want every day to be a good day? Do you want to quit crying? You want things to get better so that you can wake up happy. Yeah. Nothing, nothing warms my heart better than when I'm going to get my baby from school. She wake up and say, "Whoa, Daddy, that was some good shit." <laughs> Amen. <laughs> See, that's the way it is when you have your life right with God. I lay down. I might lay me down to sleep. Yes. Lay down. My soul the king. Yes, Even if I should die before I wake, I know the Lord. My soul will take it. All right. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't got to say, I pray the Lord, my son. I know because I ain't got no one for his business. I lay down at night, my slate is clean. I ain't got no getting it together. I'm going to get it together before the sun go down. Okay. So if I should die before I wake, I know the Lord. My soul will take it. Ain't that a wonderful thing? Yes. You can have it tonight if you do what needs to be done. Come on right now. As together we stand in that position.